Mr. President, what do you mean by military solutions are locked and loaded as it relates to North Korea? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, we are looking at that very carefully. Uh, and uh, I hope that they are going to fully understand the gravity of what I said. And what I said is what I mean. So hopefully they'll understand, Peter, exactly uh, what I said and the meaning of those words. Those words are very, very easy to understand. Any progress on the diplomatic back channel? Well, we don't want to talk about progress. We don't want to talk about back channels. Uh, we want to talk about a country that has misbehaved for many, many years, decades, actually, through numerous administrations. And they didn't want to take on the issue. And I have no choice but to take it on. And I'm taking it on. And uh, we'll either be very, very successful quickly, or we're going to be very, very successful in a different way quickly. Angela Merkel says she says she, Angela Merkel says she sees no military solution to fight with North Korea. Why is she wrong? Well, I think maybe she's speaking for Germany. Let her speak for Germany. She's a friend of mine. She's a very good person, very good woman. She's a friend of Ivanka. Uh, perhaps she's referring to Germany. She's certainly not referring to the United States, that I can tell you. Mr. President, you've said you wanted to send a strong message to North Korea. What do you say to your critics who say that your rhetoric is actually raising the tension? Well, you know, my critics are only saying that because it's me. If somebody else uttered the exact same words that I uttered, they'd say, what a great statement, what a wonderful statement. They're only doing it, but I will tell you, we have tens of millions of people in this country that are so happy with what I'm saying, because they're saying, finally, we have a president that's sticking up for our nation and, frankly, sticking up for our friends and our allies. And this man will not get away with what he's doing, believe me. And if he utters one threat in the form of, a, of an overt threat, which, by the way, he has been uttering for years, and his family has been uttering for years, or if he does anything with respect to Guam or any place else that's an American territory or an American ally, he will truly regret it, and he will regret it fast.